Hi, I'm Nathan, and we're here to set up a basic wireless network. Uh, let's get started with the modem here. So you'll probably have a modem that either looks something like this or more long and flat. Um, you've got a couple of ports on the back here. We're going to start by hooking up your coax port. So you're going to take your cable from your cable provider and just screw it into the, to the coax port on the back here. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right, now you're going to take your AC adapter for your modem, plug it into your power here, and into the back of the modem. And you'll see some lights are going to flash and, and do some stuff here. It's, it takes a few minutes for it to boot up and get ready to go. But while we're doing that, we're going to get started with your wireless router. Um, so you're going to need to connect your wireless router to your modem. We've got a short Ethernet cable here. This one's a Cat5e. You can also use Cat6. You probably don't want to use anything lower than Cat5e, though. So there's a LAN port on the back of your modem. It'll just pop right in and make a little click so you know it's secure. You're going to do the same thing on the back of your wireless router. Now, there's going to be a port specifically for Internet. The other ones will be labeled usually 1 through 4, and there's one that will either say Internet, WAN, something of that variety. It'll usually be separated from the other ones. So we'll plug that in there. And then we'll take our AC adapter for our router, plug that into our power strip here, and plug it into the back of the router. We're almost done with the physical setup. Again, the router's going to take a few minutes to boot up and get ready to go. Let's take this second Ethernet cable, again, Cat5 or Cat6. Plug it into any of the numbered ports on the back of your wireless router, and then on the back of your computer, you'll have an Ethernet port. We'll plug in right there. And your physical setup is ready to go. So now we'll go to all of your software configuration. Hey, it's Amir. I'll be taking over for the software side here. First, you're going to want to go to the router's configuration panel. In this case, we get there by going to the IP address 192.168.11 by entering it into the browser's address bar. The IP address may vary from router to router, so consult your manual. Depending on the make of your router, this page might look very different, but the basic ideas are the same. From here, you'll want to go to your wireless settings and give your new network a name. It can be anything you want. I'm just going to use SWS Tech here and save it. Next, we go to our wireless security settings. Choose WPA2 Personal from the drop-down and enter in a password save it and you're done with the setup now you can just go to any of your wireless devices select your network enter in the password when you're prompted i have the password saved on my computer that's why there's no prompt here and boom you're done you're online wirelessly thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe